Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to Elden Ring and Side Quest and the Shadow Keep. Let's do a little better this time. I should clarify, we did fine last time, the last couple episodes here exploring, but I did kind of feel like throughout all of our exploration of this here very large castle, I did feel like there were lots of forks in the road and branching paths which I noted in passing, but did not actually get back to go and explore. I felt like that happened a lot. So what I want to start out this episode doing real quick is start from this boss room again and just really quickly sweep through uh, the same stuff that I covered in the last couple of episodes. We'll cut out anything that's not new or interesting, but I do feel like there were little branches that were worth seeing before we go any higher up to miss new things, you know. So anyway. I'll start running around and let you know if I see anything new. Yes, for example, I noted this little space in here. I am not sure that I actually went in here. I don't think I did. It seems to me like the sort of place that one of the other little branches I explored might bring me back around to. I'm not sure it did though, so I think we're just gonna hop through the window. For lack of a better idea. Oh no. Yipes! Couldn't choose which target to focus on, chose neither, which is the worst choice for those keeping track. If you just want some tactics advice from me, and that's a bad idea in itself. You've kind of already failed at tactics if you're taking the advice from me, but if you did want it from me, pick a target. A target is better than no target. Pro tip. So yeah, we've definitely not been in here. There's ghosts. There's a shiny. There's almost certainly going to be someone trying to pounce. A lot of blood on the walls down here. That might be from me, that might be, <laughs> this might be from me fighting enemies inside and just the textures hitting the walls weird. That might be the case. Talisman of Lord's Bestowal. Ooh. I've been, sorry, if I jump randomly <laughs> during this recording, I've been playing enough different games that do not have the same buttons as Elden Ring that, um, Alas, my muscle memory. Anyway. A talisman depicting Godfrey, first Elden Lord, receiving the precious sap. Increases poise after using a flask of tears. The Lord accepted the sap stoically, without any sign of wavering. No wonder Lord of the Erd Tree casts a long shadow over the lands. A lot of very reverent ghosts here. Let's get the jump on you before the opposite happens. Nice. Nice and easy. Golden Vow. Three of them. It's been a little bit. Remind me what these are. Use FP to increase attack and defense. Right, right. So this might be our way out or back to some other location. Anything else in this space, this room? Ooh, another exit. And I think this is what, yeah, that's the ghost we pass. Like the boss room that I started this all in is through that door down there. Okay. Okay, yeah, this might not be as lengthy 
a detour as I thought. Not quite what I meant to do, but good enough. Hello. Yes, yes. Get out of here. Oh, right. A little more health. There we go. You fight in this army and you get your choice of weapons, so long as that choice is spear. Um... Oh. Ladder? Oh, okay. And now are we back in a place we know? Yeah, basically, okay. Not even sure I saw that locked door coming through to here the first time. Not sure I noticed it. Nice. All right, Jill. Well, this concludes that detour anyway. I'll keep on poking around and let you know if I find anything else. Good news. I have not gone anywhere and I already found something else. We can drop down from here. And to get a shiny of not much consequence. And then from here, we can drop down into here again. So there, that was basically all of it. Moving on. Okay, so back up in here. And this is really where I feel like I missed most of the things. First thing we should do after contending with this is see to that elevator. Because that was going to all sorts of interesting places. There was a jar. There's a lot of jar-related stuff down here, actually. Like you! In this whole room. Lots to explore down here. Don't. Thank you. Awful lot of y'all. Around this area. Yeah. Oh no. We've finally been hit by that grab attack. <laughs> well, glad we got to see it. May it never happen again. Don't. No. Ow. And gross. There's going to be a lot of them in there. Go. And in here, I guess. Hi. Stop being gross. Find one thing to do that's not gross. Oh boy. I generally prefer to just sort of leave you little guys be, but 
I feel like it's going to be way too dangerous in here to leave little liabilities about. What's happening? All the... All that I don't like. What is that? Is that you? It is you. That's terrible. Stop. That's a terrible thing to have happen. Don't... Stop it. Die already. Thank you. They didn't find a not gross thing to do. They just found a new gross thing to do. It's the opposite. The exact opposite. An iris ble... Are you going to leave me be? I feel like you're not going to leave me be long enough to read this. Okay. An iris blessed with an incantation of the Erd Tree. Place on the eye of another to grant them the light of grace as a fleeing blessing. Can also be used to receive the blessing of an equipped great rune. In the realm of shadow, this artifice was employed by the priests of the Erd Tree to quell the fears of their flock to magnificent effect. Neat. That's similar to another item. That's very similar to another item. Hang on. Yeah. Did we get this one in this, like, expansion DLC as well, or was this from the original? I don't remember. An iris that's dark as night, place on the eye of another to deny them light in all its forms. Can also be used to receive the blessing of an equipped great rune at the cost of all runes currently held. In the realm of shadow, this okay, it has to be from this from the DLC. In the realm of shadow, this artifice was employed by the priests of the Erd Tree to intensify the fears of their flock to magnificent effect. Huh. Deny them light in all its forms, grant them the light of grace as a fleeing blessing. It seems like these seem like something important to use, like, in particular places. Like, all the items in this row have, like, <laughs> significance in when and where you choose to use them. Teolier's Concoction, Pure Blood Knight's Metal. I think this is what gets you to, uh, Moog's area. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. I will try to keep this in mind. I don't feel like I've stumbled upon a place to make use of those items yet, anyway. And if I have... I certainly haven't... gotten the hint. Please don't. I wonder. Ow. Now's not a time for wondering. Uh, but I do wonder how bullyable these big flesh lumps are. They might not be especially But some of the forces inside this castle should be. Maybe even the Fire Knights. Huh. Found yet another place. Let me make sure there's nothing else going on in here. Other than you guys. But yeah, y'all are hard to... Y'all are hard to aim at with this. Fighting you with a big hammer makes a whole lot more sense. Hmm. The three chairs in here are neat.
maybe, maybe this is leading us out toward one of the castle's exits, which might get us access to another region surrounding it. Like maybe this is taking us out. This is pointed westward. So maybe this is a way that we could get out. Toward all the, yeah, okay, yeah. Don't know if I want to go over here before doing all this other stuff, but it's a thing one could do, maybe. Uh, hello. Is anyone or anything going to try to stop me leaving? They're going to have to be quick. See you, bats. What is that? That might be the cause for concern. Yeah, okay, you're raining fire on me. That's that's a trick. Yikes. Run. Stop it. Yikes. Okay, okay. Let's... Get a little bit more control going in this fight. Your big hat is odd, Salza. Needs toys, though. Let me make sure that I am not about to get pounced by someone or something. I think I'm okay at the moment. Rain of fire. That seems fun. Incantation of Salza, Sage of the Fire Knights. Summons a cloud of flame overhead that pelts foes with rain of fire from above. Charging increases potency. Salza's disdain for barbarism never waned, even as he burned more villages and scorched more land than any other. Seems like a good reason to keep building up faith. Could be fun. Hood of Salza, Sage of the Fire Knights. A prodigious amount of cloth wound around it, giving the impression of a greatly swollen head, and wearing it increases intelligence. A disciple of the Elder Wego, he refused to burn down an old ruin at the risk of his own life. I guess we should see what it looks like, at least. See if it looks as silly on us as it did on them. There it is. Yeah, it sure do. It sure do. <laughs> I think perhaps not. I do appreciate that From works very hard to keep their player base well stocked on ridiculous headwear, though. An abundance of choices. Let's grab this. I'm not going to go out yet, because that's getting into a whole other thing. And I'm not sure I want to start into a whole other thing quite yet. Like, I might... I might. I very well might. I would like to at least, I would like to at least go back into the storehouse and go back up as high as this seventh floor and comb through the stuff that we've already been through a little more thoroughly just to make sure that nothing's missed in there. And when we do decide to proceed higher, we can just start from the seventh and go. 
Let's let's do that. Goodness, we came out a ways. But yeah, let's let let's go back. We'll see whatever that is later. Possibly tomorrow. We might start looking at that stuff tomorrow. But today, let's not miss anything. Wait, no. I feel like there might have been one more thing down here. Sorry. I know I ran this way, and that's where I explored all that stuff. Just a minute ago. I don't know if I went. But I remember fighting you, and you might have been the only other thing over here. Maybe so. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It was just this guy in here. Cool. Good. All right. Great. Back up there then. Okay. Here's another one that I saw a couple times and then never actually got to because I was a little nervous to just jump down here, but... I don't see another way. Ooh. Nice. That'll come in handy, I'm sure. Uh, talisman with a large depiction of a yellow ancient dragon boosts lightning damage negation by the utmost. The ancient dragons, who ruled in the prehistoric era before the Erd Tree, would protect their lord as a wall of living rock. And so th I've read a version of that description like nine times. Is this, this is how I move the big bookcase. Okay. I get ya. Yeah. Or at least that's how I move one of them. Now, how I get up there? That I do not yet know. Haven't figured out that part. I'll keep looking. Okay, here's another one that I kind of ignored earlier. Don't know if this is gonna... B okay, no, it's not even an openable door. Good to know, good to know. Can't remember if I tested that before. And I feel like there might be another door that I also didn't test further up. A lot of branching paths, it was kind of hard to keep track of all of them. Which is why I feel like I missed so many. Okay, here's... Here's this. Like, I don't... I still don't know how to get down there. I think maybe... The only thing I can kind of think to do is maybe just... Ranged attack? I guess? See if that maybe knocks it down? Hmm, might not have any... Great arrows equipped. Hang on. Uh, I don't know what I do. Hmm. Yeah, that doesn't seem to be doing a whole lot. Yeah. Um. Maybe something else. I'll keep thinking on it. Also, though, while running around, I have gotten a bunch of fire knights to drop their stuff. Appointed Helm of the Fire Knights under Mesmer the Impaler's personal command. Slightly increases maximum HP, stamina, and maximum equip load. Each and every knight hailed from a renowned family of the Erd Tree's upper echelons, but were shunned and chased from their homes after pledging allegiance to Mesmer as their master. Interesting. Um. Armor of the Fire Knights under Mesmer the Impaler's personal command. Distinguished by its red cape and twin golden snakes which adorn the neck, enhancing incantations of Mesmer's flame. These were the only ones who truly knew Mesmer, his flames like serpents, the painful fate that accompanied his accursed form. Lots of mentions of cursed form, serpentry. I'm getting increasingly curious what that shed snakeskin out near Bonnie Village was all about. Seemed like a bit of foreshadowing. But yeah, I don't know... how to get that item down there. Hmm.
Maybe there's a way to like raise or lower these to get that item in reach somehow. Hmm. I don't know. Let's get a level. We have a lot of runes. And also get our claw back. I'm not using it tons, but... I'm feeling like the claws are not great for engagements with multiple targets. If you can get a single target, it really is good at focusing them down. Especially if they don't have a lot of poise. If they have no poise, then they're basically at your mercy. And that's fun. But alright. We got to the fourth floor. I'll keep exploring. Could you? Huh. This feels a lot riskier than just taking that ladder down if I can figure out how to get there. Let's see if I can figure out how to get there. Okay, I've found... So this is the spot where Freya was. We've gotten ourselves back up here. I do not remember how thorough I was kind of on these floors immediately surrounding her location. Because I was kind of just following her voice by the time I got up here. And I don't know that I explored all of this very well. Or at all. So, um... This might be a good place to poke around some more. Like we can jump on that thing, for one. Hopefully. Eh. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Now I just gotta figure out how to safely jump back. Eh. And we can jump down onto that. Uh, well, a little risky. And we may not need to. I would love to find smarter ways to get at some of these places that it looks like I could jump at them, but sure doesn't seem like a smart idea. Get out of here. Gone. Real nice being able to one-shot them with this thing. I can definitely jump onto that from here, but again, not sure why I'd want to. Unless we can get this thing like, like the center thing rotated. That might be what we can do. Maybe we can get the center thing rotating. And then that might bring stuff down below into better reach somewhere. Oh, that might be what's happening. Huh. I might be wrong, but oh, that seems like something that might happen. All right. Huh? Ooh. Rotating and raising and lowering. Hmm. Oh, and there's like little stairs on that one. That could help us reach other things. Interesting. Where did the one that has the little shiny kind of in its beard, for lack of a better word, where did that end up? That's there now. That's a ways further down, but that looks like in reach. I'm, I'm going down there real quick. BRB. It is so wildly easy to lose your bearings in here. Yes, be bullied. I get the impression that you and your entire order deserve it. Yes. Pearl Drake, talisman plus three. Awesome. 
And I believe that one would be damage negation for everything but physical? Boosts non-physical damage negation by the utmost. Yes. Yes. Also, we got the legs of this set here. Nearly the whole thing at this point. Dismissing the gloves, I guess. Okay. Time to... Guys, come on. Get out of here. Actually, I might as well warp up, because I think I needed the, um... I needed that to climb up there anyway, so, um, yeah, let's do that. I still haven't figured out how to get over there, but I think I'm still looking for that, that ladder. That ladder feels like the way to do things. Yeah, let's, um... Man, this, for being just kind of like one big pillar of a location, <laughs> it is a complex tangle. Okay. I think the time has come to try this. And see what this might yield. There's nothing on the other side there. No. Okay. Okay. That might get me someplace. A little scary to jump on this, but, um... Eh. Easy does it. Oh, boy. Yep. Okay. Uh, that worries me. That suggests there might be a boss encounter or something out here. Wasn't anything else in here, right? No. Okay. And there's so much more still out here to figure out how to get to. Yes, hello. No fire. Okay. There's another of you. And maybe I can ignore you. For now. Hmm. Don't know if I can ignore you. Not sure I got other good options at this time. Hmm. Yeah, wow, what a complex place to navigate. Pretty. Hmm. Well, um... Hello. You seem... more intense. A little bit. I think it's the headwear. Yeah, let me get in a word edgewise, huh? Oh boy. Nope. A lot of fire, bud. A lot of fire. Oof, yeah. That fire follow-up is going to make it a little tricky to guard counter you. Yeah. Yeah. Whew. 
Just gotta delay a little bit. Oof, and you can... kinda guard counter me yourself. It's not what you're doing exactly, but you're... kinda parrying me? It's pretty mean. You're not easy. Eh, boy. Rough. Whew, okay. Maybe this will finish you. Maybe. Oh, boy. Yeah, you were tough. Let's read some things. Flame Spear. Skill of Kud, Captain of the Fire Knights. Ready weapon for a thrusting attack and unleash a spear of flame straight ahead. Charge the attack to increase damage dealt and distance traveled. Neat. The Helm of Kud, Captain of the Fire Knights. A winged serpent perches atop it. Enhances Fire Knight skills. The Winged Serpent is the token creature of Mesmer's military forces. It's a wise friend which keeps the base serpent at bay and holds its power in check. Hmm. A lot of very good foreshadowing flavor they're giving us here. Um. Where does this go? Ooh. Oh, I was about to say, it's a much smaller room than I expected. Nice. I'll happily take it. Tall castle. Very tall. Very tall castle. Oh, thank goodness. I could use a little sit-down. Dark chamber entrance. This seems... important. It seems important, and I feel like I've still missed tons of things on the way up. Like, this place seems very complicated and complex, and it seems like there must have been an exit to get out back here at some point. Like, doing this doesn't seem like it's going to be opening the way down here. And it certainly isn't required for getting down here. I can already get down here. That You know what? Tomorrow? Let's start going around down here. Let's explore this area. This stuff. See what's waiting for us here. And then I guess we're coming back here and yet again trying to explore this storehouse a little more thoroughly because I feel like... Well, I know there's still little branches that I've not figured out how to reach yet. Man. Complicated. Complicated tiny little stretch of dungeon. <laughs> anyway, we'll find out what happens through here later. I'm too scared to go through the door, if I'm honest. See you all later. Bye!